Hello, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping, and wanted to do a, a quick video on um, paying bills in QuickBooks Online, and this also applies to QuickBooks de Desktop. This actually came to my brain just to create this video because I saw a question on the forum where somebody asked a simple question, and I can remember this years ago, something that I thought the same thing, like, how do I do this? So I'm going to take you to QuickBooks Online. And it's my sample company and I want to pay bills. So you have a couple ways to get to paid bills. You can come into your vendors, find your bill and then make a payment. Or you can just come generically to the transaction button, which is the plus sign and then pay a bill. So I want to play, pay Acme, um, Acme printing, but I only want to pay them about half. I want to pay them $400 as a deposit for this big printing job that I've done. They've already invoiced me for the total. So if I click here, it's going to make the payment for the entire amount. Um, one of the questions was, well, how do I pay 400? It says 795. I don't want to pay 795. I want to pay them 400. So I can pay the partial here by putting the amount in. And it's the same thing with desktop. You can go in. It looks a little bit different. It almost looks like you can't change it, but you can. And then save and print the check or however you want to do it. You'll see that the check is in here and um, you can make the payment for $400. What will happen also is you come to here and you'll see that with Acme Printing, I have a bill for $7.95 and a bill payment. Now I only owe, owe them $395. That's my balance, my outstanding balance with them, what I owe them. So that's the short tutorial on how to pay a different amount than the actual amount invoiced to you. If you have any questions on this video or any questions at all regarding QuickBooks and you would like to perhaps see another video on a topic, please reach out to me. I will put the links in the blog post itself, how you can reach me in Facebook. If you're having any issues with QuickBooks, you need some help, feel free to reach out to me and I will try to get back to you and hopefully have the answer that you need. Thank you for watching. Bye now.